Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of uh, the Sh you know Jose Show. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even know. You know, maybe I should uh, figure out a name for the show. You know, so you know we have a little bit better uh, intro. Like it's gonna work anyway. But anyways, all right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing a bit of a rant. Uh, one of my patented. Uh, walking and talking episodes uh, that you guys all know and love now you guys know most of the time when I'm doing my walking and talking I'm talking about Mexico and all the stuff that's happening here but thing is that there's actually a lot of stuff going on around the world right now all over the place and that's what uh, that's what I'm talking about today because it's just too much stuff that needs to start being addressed um, and you know not many people are really talking about it for a million reasons it's just the truth and so you know right now you know we're literally living through a very 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 trying time in human history I mean this is kind of like almost the equivalent of the modern day dark ages you know we're living in medieval times I mean literally and I'm not talking about medieval times you know that 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 what is it that dinner in the show place no 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 I'm literally talking about medieval times from back in the day. What, you know, we always think of when we, you know, say that word or say these words. Um, the dark ages, all that shit. It's, it's a combination of that and a combination of uh, we're also coming through um, a repeat of history. You know, so if you see what was happening in the U.S. and in the world um, about 100, 125 years ago, give or take. It's very eerily similar to a lot of things that are happening now. You know, it, it, that's another reason why, um, you know, when I talk about just the economy, by the way, no economy talk today, but you know, when I talk about the economy and all these things in the direction where, you know, the dollar's going, hyperinflation, yada, yada, yada. Um, I look at history. I just look at where we've been and that usually helps us, you know, get, you know, that usually helps us decipher where we're going and all that stuff. So, you know, right now, I look at what's happening. Um, I look at, it's really loud today. Anyways, so right now I, I look at, um, you know, where we're going and um, I, I really see, you know, the, the, tw the year 2020 and beyond as the roaring 2020s. It's as simple as that. That's that's kind of like where I see, you know, where we're going and what's happening with all that. So yeah, as I was saying, um, so okay, so like, you know, let's start breaking it down. So the other day, literally, um, Mr. Mr. Trump, you know, comes out and he declares himself the king of the Jews, the king of Israel. Now I know I, I, I you know, if you look at the tweet exactly, he didn't necessarily call himself that. Someone called him that. He just. Uh, um acknowledged it and uh it's not like he said no <laughs> you know he was just like whatever and if you know what's going on with that you know you're you're you know there there's a reason why they call him that there's a reason why because you know for a lot you know ever since he's been president he's been very 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 friendly with them um on many many occasions and um it, it's just interesting so when I heard the other day when he said that, you know, and uh, all the stuff that's going on with that, I was, uh, I wasn't surprised, you know, and I know a lot of people were, I, I already knew where this is going. It's look, it's a simple tactic of divide and conquer. So, you know, you're just going to keep dividing and dividing and dividing. So, you know, right now, um, they're going to, you know, what he's doing with that and it's working because he's the king of this shit and people just still don't fucking get it. But um, he's dividing and conquering the Jews, like, like s seriously. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, if you're Jewish out there, I I'm sure you can, uh, you can back this up. Look at this fucking guy. That guy's in a hurry. Shit. Anyways, but I mean, look, you know, just before I even you know continue down uh, this path real quick. You know, I, I just want to let you all know out there, I have absolutely zero affiliation with anyone or anything. So meaning I have no affiliation with any, um, what is it, like any uh, party, any uh, 
you know, like Rep Republican, Democrat, Independent. Um, I have no affiliation with any political party. I have no affiliation with any religion. I have no affiliation with fucking anything. All right, I'm straight up anarchist in the truest definition of what that means. Okay, meaning, uh, you know, I don't fuck with you, don't fuck with me, and that's it. Let's leave it there. All right, survival of the fittest type of shit. You know, that that's more of where um, you know, where I stand and why whatever. Sorry, I had to put my hand over it, just trying to cover up some some noise. But yeah, I just wanted to get that disclaimer, all right, out there. I don't, you know, I never give that that financial disclaimer because again, if you're dumb enough to fucking listen to me and my stupid horse and you fuck up, you go ahead, you know, <laughs> go ahead and take me to court or whatever, you know. I, I, I'll, I'll pay for it, you know what I mean? I, that'll be hilarious. You know, you trying to sue me and my horse because my horse didn't give you the proper uh, financial advice. So anyways, but when it comes to all, all the other stuff, I gotta, I really gotta put it out there because, um, you know, some people are, they just don't, um, what you might call it? They don't use common sense, you know, all the time, you know? Common sense ain't that common. So, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there real quick before I continued, but you know, I got plenty of friends that are Jews. I like the fact some of my best friends are Jewish. Again, I'm not Jewish. I was born and raised Roman Catholic, all right? Just like a good fucking Hispanic kid. But again, guys, you know, the reality is, is that, geez, there's a lot of action going on today. Maybe it's just me. But anyways, so, Back to my rant, back to what I was gonna talk about. So, you know, right now this fucking guy said that and um, he's dividing and conquering the people from within, which is fucking crazy. And look guys, you know, right now, if you don't see exactly what's happening here, you know, again, remember I've uh, many, many, many times, not just me, but plenty of people out here, you know, many, many times have, uh, have um, compared what's happening in the US right now with what happened in Nazi Germany. And, um, you know, the, the correlations are, you know, beyond insane because, again, you know, even after World War II, look up, look up Operation Paperclip and others, but just, just look that one up and start there. Um, you know, where we got all the German scientists, all the German military people, all the, all the people in, in power in Germany after World War II, and we literally brought them back to the U.S. and put them, put them at the head of NASA, the head of the CIA, the head of you name it, okay? the military, the head of um, a lot of things. So, you know, that's why when, you know, we're going through what we're going through as Americans and uh, we're, we're literally witnessing like the takeover, you know, like in a weird way and uh, we know our history, it's like, fuck, man. So by him saying what he just said right now, th those words are, first of all, he's gonna continue repeating and talking about that shit for a while. Um, but those words, man, they, they, they have a lot of clout because again, guys, remember, it all started very simply when that guy, Mr. Hitler guy, you know, he just, you know, got up on a podium. The people were, had, were fed up, had enough of the economy, of the world. They blamed this group called the Jews, which again, they were really just blaming the Zionist, which again, if you know about this stuff, the Zionist, and the Jewish people and all it's just very different. All this is shit very different. But they get everybody gets lumped in together. You know, again, when Trump said, if you don't vote Republican, you're not a Jew or some shit like that. It's like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Is he serious right now? And so, you know, look look at how strongly he's versing his uh his rhetoric. And um you know, before I forget, because I got this at the tip of my mind, you know, real quick. I, I don't want to segue. And the reason I, 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 want, I wanted to talk about the fact that we're living through medieval times is because look what's happening in San Francisco right now. I'm sure if you, ha if you haven't heard, look it up. I'm not going to fucking talk about all that right now. But, you know, what's happening in San Francisco right now? You know, every single day you're hearing now people from all over the world that are saying the conditions in San Francisco are worse than the worst slums in Brazil, than the worst slums in fucking uh, India, and so on and so forth. And it, it, it's insane. It's really insane, you know, like, but... Again, medieval times, you know, like um, another thing that's happening besides something like that is, you know, what's happening with the Amazon rainforest and uh, all that, you know, burning and the deforestation and all that shit. You know, again, when was when when uh, when the shit was hitting the fucking uh, when things were really, really bad, 
over 125 years ago, you know, with the Rockefellers, you know, with a lot of these other individuals out there, they were, and they were polluting like a motherfucker. And we've seen these cycles, you know, go all the way through. Right now in China, you know, they've already built up a mega power of fucking China, you know, of a, of a country. But now they're beyond crazy polluted, just like the U.S. was a hundred some odd years ago. And it got cleaned up because they had to clean up or they were going to die. What's happening in the Amazon is kind of something similar. They got a president in there that's like, yeah, burn it all down. Yeah, fucking, you know, uh, and, you know, like uh, put in, uh, you know, um, just destroy the rainforest. Who gives a fuck, you know? Give me money, give me corporate, you know, uh, corporations that have the rights and all that shit. And um, in the end, it's not going to fare well. It's not going to fare well um, for Brazil and the world, but you know, by the time that everybody realizes it, it's going to be too late, and um, and then at that point, we're going to have to start the rebuilding process. And you know, we're watching all kinds of shit. Look, I'm not I'm not here to I'm not a climate change denier, or I'm not a you know I I used to be super left, super hippy dippy, Captain Planet, you know, save the Earth all day long, and I'm still all about that, but. We got to realize what the fuck is really going on here and not just, you know, fucking put the blame on just a few people here or there or try to virtue signal or try to anything. We got to really figure out what the fuck is going on. You know, again, the corporation, uh, look, I'm just going to throw this and leave it here. Um, an, um, um, a tribe in the Amazon rainforest a month ago or so a little more than that, won a decision in which it would allow them, you know, to live freely in the Amazon without the corporations coming in and taking all their land and taking all their stuff and all that shit. And um, before, and then right after they won, they started burning the fuck out of them. Out, they started burning, the, the fire started around where they live. And um, this guy, the new president, Bolsonaro, you know, he was literally put, he was a guy that came, you know, right wing, kind of like Trump. You know, he used the people of the, of the countryside in order to get those votes. And now what he's doing is that he's appeasing those same exact uh, people that voted for him because most of those people, come on, bus. Fuck. Anyway, sorry. A little impatient today, huh? Anyways, a lot of those people that put him in power now, you know, they want, they want, uh, you know what I mean? Like their representation. So, you know, what they wanted was, uh, for all these laws restricting what's going on in the Amazon to be lifted so that they can, you know, continue doing business as usual. Meaning, you know, expanding, growing more stuff, burning down the rainforest, using it as farmland, and so on and so forth. So it's it's a lot of corruption there, you know what I mean? And it's like, why is nobody doing anything about it? Well, you know why, because you know who runs the world and who runs the agendas and what's going on here. And, uh, you know, again, you know, it's just propaganda everywhere you look, no matter what. So again, just back to Trump now, and uh, what's what's happening there. Again, uh, it, to me, it was fucking insane that he was saying the things he's doing. It's fucking insane right now how closely aligned he is, you know, to Israel, and uh, how, I mean, you know, the, the, he and he and the government are freely talking about the fact that, you know, yeah, it, like almost like if Israel was another fucking state of the USA, you know what I mean? Like it's like, what the hell's wrong? What the fuck, man? It's insane to me. So, you know, this whole Zionist movement is right in front of our face. You know, they're fucking um, trying to push one agenda. Um, they're trying to, you know, um, brainwash the people. Even their own Jewish people are, you know, like they're trying to brainwash those same people. Like, there's a lot of infighting within the Jewish uh, community right now because it's like, you know, who the fuck is this guy to tell us who to vote for, what to do, and all this other shit. And, uh, it's um it's it's not only is it happening but it's actually um we're gonna see the end result of this soon enough within a year or two but it's not gonna end pretty and it's only gonna be the very beginning of a lot of uh you know more division coming up you know again it doesn't matter what group you belong to or who you are you know you're divided amongst yourselves right now it, again men are fighting women you know but, um, the, the the attack on the blacks you know the attack on on, on, on so many groups and so many people out there you know you know, right now, you got, look at what's happening in Israel with, with the Palestinian people and um, that that mass genocide that's happening. And uh, our president is out here freely, you know, um, condoning that. And, you know, everything that has to do with, uh, you know, the representatives that are, you know, that, 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 um, that are the U.S. representatives that are banned from going out there. And, you know, all the, all the it's just everything that's happening. It's like, um, 
it's setting up the movie i mean literally it's setting it up and it's like if you don't know what movie or what the fuck is uh it's being set up here i i, I really really implore you guys to look at some history and um do some homework because it, it, history repeats itself man history fucking repeats itself and right now you know the jewish people are being are going to be used as pawns again um they're you know you know remember guys we've talked about it many many fucking times before about those fucking fema camps you know those fema camps you know what the fuck who the fuck you think is gonna go in though man you know you better start reserving your if you're still in the u.s and you're a bootlicker holy shit man you better start getting your reservations for your local fema camp ready it's like anyone it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna be two groups you know um group a that supports the government group b that doesn't support the government the group that supports the government is going to be totally fine the one that does not support the government is going to go straight to the fucking fema camps and that's it you know what i mean like i don't i, I mean that's it it's as simple as that and um you know this is something that's happening right in front of your eyes you're seeing all kinds of insanity happening right in front of your eyes and um no one's really doing anything about it except um you know complaining and that's it you know to me i am doing something about it i'm making videos about it i left the country i've um continued to educate myself on what the fuck is going on not just in uh, my former country but around the world and um you know again using history as a guide you know at the end of the day what i'm really just trying to do out here is uh, separate myself from the insanity and um continue to you know and be in a place where i can continue to um, access you know what the hell's going on around the world and um, as the shit starts turning I get to move further and further away I mean I, I, I talk to Chris all the time and like you know we're always fucking around and saying like yeah man you know if this keeps getting any worse you know we're gonna fucking end up in Antarctica you know <laughs> or, or, or in the Arctic Circle living with them um, some fucking penguins and polar bears for real and um, <laughs> you know, for real and like if that's if that's the way it has to be that's the way it will be um, but again guys you know we've been through world wars we've been through massive uh, History, points in history where there's been massive un, massive civil unrest all over the world and uh you know there's always pockets of places where you can go to and escape and you know not have to deal with a lot of this shit you know right now as you are a u.s citizen a canadian citizen an australian or european and anything citizen you know you are all, all you're doing every single day unfortunately is getting fed a lot of propaganda from all kinds of angles and uh it's just it's just part of the the agenda of driving you crazy driving you bonkers driving you to that point of uh no return in a sense and um you know one of the awesome beautiful things about me living out here was like now not only with the fact that i got to get exposed to a completely different you know um world a completely different culture a completely different angle as um looking at things you know but all of a sudden you know like i i, I got to I, I was able to escape that bubble of living in the country i was living in and it's like all this insanity which was always there was no longer there anymore and it's like all of a sudden you get to again go out and um smell the flowers you get to enjoy life a little more because you're not constantly being bombarded with uh, a lot of insanity and again it's not to say that things are perfect out here because we've you know we talked about it and i make videos on that and we're you know exploring that as well um you know again there's no i don't think there's anything perfect here or anywhere around the world but the point is is that what we need to start doing in order to you know really avoid you know total medieval fucking uh times you know to come up upon us and in order for us to really really avoid this insanity that is the this these dark ages you know we need to rise the fuck up okay illuminate ourselves in our fellow man and um again you know i don't there's no other word really to define what we need what needs to be done except for revolution and it has to be you know a, like a little revolution people on the streets a revolution of knowledge a revolution of enlightenment just all that and then some and um you know this is why i do what i do here and i think that's why you guys also watch this stuff you know it gets to a point where you know you guys already want to do something instead of just watching on the from the sidelines and um I, I get it you know what i mean and again you know even if all you're doing is spreading knowledge you're doing so much isn't that it, it's it's insane it's incredible so you know guys um i'm gonna end it here because that's it i'm i i'm at the walmarts you know cor another corporation which I'm, gonna, I'm about to make another episode on on this uh 
corporation that I'm not very happy with that I had a bad experience with which is why you probably haven't seen me come down here for a while um, but yeah you know what I mean at the end of the day it's like you all, all, if, if all we can do is continue the conversation or um, embrace the conversation or at least have a conversation that we're doing a lot we're doing more than you, you could ever imagine because you got to remember that pretty much the only thing that the agenda is doing is trying to keep us all quiet trying to shut us down but remember there's more of us and there is of them and so we, that's what we got to constantly remind ourselves of and remember that you know we need to you know grab the bull by the fucking horns and take the power back or otherwise we're just really never gonna have any hey guys sorry about that I got rudely interrupted by the heat again as you already know but I was about to you know tell you something that was very very important the most important thing I tell you guys in these videos don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please follow us on, on the Discord, follow me on Instagram. Let's continue this conversation. Let's continue building this community. Let's continue sharing knowledge. Let's continue, um, you know, just with this enlightenment revolution. All right? Let's not forget what, what's at stake here. Okay? Humanity. And then some. Okay? So, guys, don't forget to just stay awesome and enjoy the rest of your day and your rest of your life and your rest of your week and the rest of your everything. And... Uh, I fucking love you guys. I'll see you guys manana. And um, I hope you guys uh, were able to get something out of this episode. I know I was a little bit all over the place, but I think you guys get the gist of it. I love you guys. Peace out and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things, for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.